connect to people. Martin David, I'm 18 and I'm coordinating the Bridges photo shoot. Um, I'm the director of the group, I started it back in September last year. I think volunteering is um, really important to get um, started projects off the ground. Um, sometimes money is a re real issue, um, so volunteering is important um, and it's really rewarding. Um, to volunteer and you meet loads of people, you learn new skills and volunteering can really lead you on to better things. I went to the Year of the Steadford and covered the whole event for three days because I'm a Welsh speaker as well and they need a Welsh speakers. I co-won an award for the most contrib the best contributor to this website, click online. I also came second in about three awards also for this year's Click Awards. So it's like it's good that they, we are helping them out by, by sharing them and like letting them know what everything is, but then they're rewarding us as well. Well, the main reason I do the volunteering is for the experience that it gives. Um, the, the amount of uh, things that I've learned whilst doing my volunteering, the uh, the social aspect to it, being able to do something good for the community and the people around you, um, that's also um, something, it, it just gives you a really good feeling at the end of the day. I volunteer here with the Comorish Youth Council uh, along with uh, a few other local charities. I've been on the Youth Council for three years and in that time we've successfully done a few conferences. Um, we've taken trips down to Belgium and London to speak to politicians. We launched our Speak Up project um, where we aim to listen in to the voices of our young people in Carmarthenshire and see what we have to say about it and take matters further from there. and I'm a guide guider from Cardiff. I became a volunteer sort of from my experience in guides. I uh, continued once I was 18. I carried on going and I still volunteer now. Without volunteering we wouldn't run either organisation. We try to put things like international events on for them so they get to go abroad and they gain skills from us as well. Um, so it's sort of like a give and take. We, they give us hours and we give them opportunities the smiles on their faces, the fact you know you can just listen to them and you know what they're doing, they're gaining skills for life that they wouldn't gain if we weren't here volunteering for them to have these opportunities put in front of them. Um, my name's Chloe Sutton, um, I'm 18. I started volunteering um, about a year and a half ago when we had Welsh back and we needed to do something for the community. You see um, how they started and then gradually until they've left and you just see how they've just progressed so much. They're, they're always happy, they're always smiling, they're always laughing. You'll get some days when they're upset but generally they're just really happy. Makes me happy. <laughs> recommended um, volunteering at Patch because the, and some of them already did it. I heard about it through my church and when I got there I really enjoyed every minute of it. Patch is Pembrokeshire Action to Combat Hardship. Um, we have three bases, one in Milford Haven, one in Moncton and one in Haverford West and um, we provide practical help for people in a financial crisis. Patch does a Christmas project. We, we hold a toy appeal and then for about three days um, in the middle of December and we'll sort toys out for, as, um, as a debt preventative more than anything and provide um, toys for families who can't afford to buy the, 
the, to make their children's Christmas. It's amazing, it's so emotional. Because I'm from Pembrokeshire, I know some of the people that we help and that really hits home and um, I just, I'd love to be involved in it. I'm not, I'm not in it for the cameras or anything. I'm, I, I just genuinely um, love helping out with that. I couldn't think of anything else I'd rather be doing <laughs> with my December, to be honest. Morgan and I'm a youth worker, youth activities worker at Kamala's Youth Project. I've basically learnt my, my role as a youth worker. If it wasn't for volunteering, I don't think I would have been able to um, practice in the way I do now because I wouldn't have learnt skills, I wouldn't have been able to just come out of college and become a youth worker. I needed to have that sort of um, experience and practice. We get a lot of young people out and particularly sort of um, developed socially. So we try to um, encourage them maybe to cook and to eat with us and just to learn the skills to sort of be with people and manners, um, just their confidence mainly, their, their sort of participation and stuff to, it progresses over time. It's time to look back at what you've done and think of how you've spent all of your time or was it for the best? Because you gain a lot from it and you make friends for life and you have a lot of fun but also you provide other people with opportunities which they may not have before and if you weren't volunteering they wouldn't get those opportunities. Standing there you take one look and think why should I? I sort of see other people now in myself where I've been through the Princess Trust. I look at others now where I am volunteering, and you can see that it does it is improving every day. And I just feel like if I can help at all, it does you know sort of make you feel really good. I know it sounds cheesy, but it does make you feel really good about yourself. Goes by. You thinking maybe should I? It's a great way to meet new people. Great way to be part of the community, a great way to be part of a group, to develop in confidence, to develop the skills, to be um, for employment. I'll give a little help, or just a little time. I'm with it. I mean, it doesn't just help your CV, and it's not just what you get out of it, but it really encourages other people to see young people doing volunteer work. And um, just it's it's a great experience. Would you like peace of mind for all the rest of you? That changed them to go from being young people who were perhaps a little bit introverted, a bit shy, not sure themselves as we all are when we're 14 years old, and to see them move through into young adults who are independent, they're strong. They're committed, they're able to go out and you know stand on their own two feet and speak to people with a, a sense of purpose, who get into universities because of the work that they've the hard work that they've done. I, what what could be better? What what more do you want out of what you do for for a day-to-day -day sort of job and, and what more do you want to do for giving up a little bit of time? It's no time. <laughs>